Hi everybody. Um, just thought I'd do a little quick video about the uh, program not communicating with the GP units. Um, a few people report that they are unable to get this working. I've had this issue myself where this PC just did not talk to anything. I have a GP100, a 200, a Boss Pocket GT, and a, I tried to connect to a Fender LT25 amp and nothing would work. Once I tried this, then everything was properly communicating with this machine. What happens is there are uh, probably corrupted files from Windows use and malware and crap that just downloads from the internet. So what you want to do is <clears throat> open up your Windows uh, taskbar task and hit the Windows icon there in the corner. Start typing CMD. Once you get the CMD and you see the command prompt, hit Run as Administrator. The computer is going to ask you for permission. Just hit yes, and then you'll get this window. Make sure that it says run as administrator up here, or it won't work. It needs to be in administrator privileges. So what you want to do next is just run system file checker space backslash scan now. What this will do, once you hit enter, it's going to go through and check all the files for the Windows uh, folder, all the installation files, all the system files, and it's going to make sure nothing's corrupted. It's going to fix anything that's, that it detects that's, that shouldn't be or that's wrong and realign everything so that everything works normally. Once you complete this, and it'll take a few minutes and it'll show progress, so just be patient. Once it finishes, you can close out of this and then you can either, you should restart your machine, and then once you restart, try and connect to the Bailton. Uh, software, uh, you know, by t turning it on or connecting it, depending on which unit you have. I have a 200 connected right now. So once it's powered up, my GP200 takes a little longer in this machine. I don't know why. I have a laptop that usually takes a lot less, but eventually, if you're patient, there it goes, and it says your device is properly connected. So once you get there, you should be able to, pr to use your unit and be able to play with it. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, para nuestros amigos, habla hispana. Si no entendieron alguna parte del video, si tienen alguna pregunta, le pongan en el comentario eh, y trataré de contestárselo. El proceso es bien fácil. Um, es totalmente automatizado. Cuando ustedes entren ese comando, Windows repara su instalación solo, reinicien la máquina y ya ahí van a poder conectarse sin problema. Si aún así no tienen comun comunicación, asegúrense, claro, que también tienen sus drivers de ASIO, a -S -I -O, instalados. Eso es imprescindible en instalaciones Windows, pero no tanto en Mac. Así que muchas gracias y sigan tocando.